and I can't, like, I can't quite wrap my head around it because this. I'm gonna be so like upbeat. I'm like, not. Hip. I'm hip. I've got my AirPods in. I'm just gonna walk around the shops with my music on. But this song guy. When was the last time I was in a video? People probably thought we broke up. Probably. They were like, thank God that Sam dude's gone now. <laughs> I need to stop me watch. I'm gonna go for 34 minutes. Is that it? Yeah, but I, I kind of, I'm really into the quick workouts mm. at the moment. Yeah, sorry, because like, there's time to be a gym. I don't know, I just, more motivated to go if I know I'm only going to be there for. I'm the same. Half an hour. You know what? What? I recently have gotten to the really bad habit of starting my weekly vlogs on like a Wednesday. Monday, I'm like, oh, I'll start it tomorrow. And then Tuesday, I'm like, oh, I'll start it tomorrow. I need to get back into the habit of starting them on a Monday. Because it just yes. feels nice to like start the week fresh. Then you can really come along the whole week. Yes. I also am really not sure about these sunglasses. Sam doesn't like them. I don't hate them. You just think they're too big? Uh, yeah, if you, but, rock, if you rock them. I feel yeah. like if you rock them, would be fine. I, I think like I rock them. I kind of feel like I am a Kardashian or something. Mm. Kim, people are dying. I was going to say good morning, but it is 2 p.m. Yeah, we were lazy this morning. We well, had I was a very, busy. yeah, well. You were too. Put a load of washing on, actually. That's oh, well done. No, I got up and edited. That's what I did. Yeah. I've been in a terrible habit of staying up late and then, like, sleeping in. Apparently, there's, like, a study that the more hours you sleep before 12, the better you feel. I don't know if it's true. Probably placebo. Anyway, we've just finished up at the gym. Both haven't been to the gym in what? Couple weeks. Couple weeks at this point and haven't been in a good routine in a while. Yeah, I've been changing up how I'm training and I'm feeling a lot better for it. Now we're just going to the shops because we're going to do our weekly food shop. We haven't thought of any dinners. Uh, we should make Chocolate sticky dough pudding or apple pie. Apple crumble. What is it? Uh, pokey chocolate. pokey. Should we get some? Yeah. <laughs> Success? Success. As you would have just seen, brought my camera, not my SD card. So that's really fun. So I'm just filming on my phone. Sam's currently picking up our GYG and I'm so excited. Here he is. <laughs> I'm so excited. We didn't end up getting chips, did we? No. Mm. <laughs> I always regret that decision afterwards. Home to watch Loki? Yeah. I suppose we're gonna hurry up. Oh my lord. Oh my, god. Oh my lord. I love it when you say that. That's my favorite saying of yours. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. Because you always say it in such like passion. passion. There's someone pulling out as well next to you. Oh. Goodness, I'm very excited. Oh no. Oh. We are castaways. We are castaways. <laughs> so you're part of the TVA's courageous and dedicated workforce. <laughs> Tuesday. We've come out this morning. We went out for some breakfast and then Sam's just headed off to get his hair cut. But I'm kind of thinking he's almost going to be done. So I'm not sure whether to message him and be like, hey, how far are you off being done? So I don't know if I should just go. But I don't want to get to the place that I need to be and him go, I'm ready. And I'm like, well, too bad. Do you know what? I had just such a sh week last week if I'm honest I just felt so low so unmotivated in a bit of a rut honestly now I'm putting it a few other things that I'll explain in this vlog which are very exciting but I'm putting it mostly down to weather it was so rainy dark cold all week last week and I can do like a day or two of that but this week it is stunning weather and I don't think I ever realized how much weather affects my mood anyway we're out to run a few errands today obviously Sam's gonna use haircut I also have got a click and collect order at Kmart that I need to pick up. So this really cool DIY on TikTok that I really want to do. I also need to go and get some packing boxes because we may or may not be moving. I've got so many updates, but I won't sit and just blabber for like half an hour now. I'll space them out. I'm going to head off and just try and get a couple things done. Oil service due. <laughs> what music are we feeling this morning? Does anyone remember this song? Wouldn't want to be anybody else. 
Squishy burritos. They do look really cute. I think you want to get it just because they're cute. We're in Kmart. I was just about to go get my click and collect. And then Sam wanted to go to the get look at the toy look section. Throw, throw burrito. Every single step I take hurts because of the lower body workout I did. To be in my latest video that was the what I eat today, I was like woken up in the middle of my sleep because I when I rolled over, my bum hurt. Kind of the best, but kind of worse. Like it was a good lower body workout, that's for sure. I actually just got a massive online order from White Fox that I did recently. This was amongst it and I can see myself living in it for the rest of winter. I'm a sucker for a matching set. I thought I'd give you a bit of a haul of everything I got because I kind of went rogue, if I'm honest. And I kind of love it. White Fox is also sponsoring this part of the video as well. They have given me a discount code as well to share with you all, which is Sophie Jane. I'll leave the discount code and everything I mention in links below just in case you want to check anything out. <laughs> We've got a very cute guest in the background. <laughs> Wifox does also offer afterpay for, I'm pretty sure it's Aussie, New Zealand, and US customers as well. Start off with what I'm wearing right now. I'm matching, kind of, I mean, is it tie-dye? Yeah, I would call it tie-dye, but it's very like muted. I also did stain it already. And I think this year I've just had a full on obsession with crewnecks. I want to wear them every single day. They go with everything and I love them. You'll be able to see it a lot better in the try-on clip. I also have the matching crop in this as well. Once it warms up a bit, I can just wear this and the track pants, which I think, think is a vibe because you look really put together and kind of cool, but like you're just chilling around the house. As I said, I kind of went rogue. I've got a lot of tight fitting dresses, <laughs> which is usually something that I am not confident in whatsoever and not something I reach for, but I don't know, I was on the website and I was shopping away and I was like, you know what? I really love them. This dress, okay, firstly, you'll see quite a bit of, you'll see quite a lot of, You'll see quite a lot of brown because I'm loving browns, like mocha browns, sands, neutrals. I think all those colors are very trendy at the moment, but I love it because that's all I ever want to wear. This is like a knitted, not knitted, it's kind of like ribbed. Can you see that? But it feels such good quality. I also think as well, right now, being winter in Australia, I can chuck over like a denim jacket or some sort of jacket and it'll look quite nice. Like it'll look very put together, but It'll be a bit warmer. I didn't realize this until I opened the package, but I did also get it the exact same dress in this sandy color. Also, these are called the level headed midi dress. This is in the color oatmeal and this is in the color chocolate. Those colors, stunning. Yeah, honestly, I didn't mean to get them both, but I'm not mad about it, if I'm honest. Next thing is brown again, but brown track shorts. If I could live in track shorts and crew necks for the rest of my life, I would be pretty stoked about it. And I feel like some track shorts can kind of make it look like I'm wearing like a nappy or they're just not that flattering. And I feel like White Fox's track shorts are very flattering. These ones are called How Could I Forget Lounge Shorts in the shade, shade, color, mocha. Next thing I picked up is actually something I've been wanting for a while and it's a pair of denim shorts. I bought them in a size medium because I'm loving the look of like kind of not oversized but just like that little bit more baggy short and then like a cute crop or something so i love these i love the fit of them i think they're very relaxed even for like a beach day you know you chuck on a bikini and like pop these over the top i think it's just really laid back and chill no white fox does have a really nice swim range as well i didn't get anything this time because it's winter 
and I will not be in a bikini. To go along with the shorts, I got a couple of basics that I actually really like. I mean, this one, there's not much explanation that needs to go along with this. This is the Switching Sides Crop in white. I also did pick it up in this sage green color. I really like the sage green color, actually. I want more of this than my wardrobe, I've decided. Another cute little crop that I got is brown. <laughs> even that. Just a super chill, laid back, running errands, day at home kind of look. So we got this brown jogger bodysuit, which I think is gonna look so nice with some jeans. Isn't that just a nice look? I feel like it's quite dressed up and I love, it's got like a low back, like a low scooped back. And I clearly loved it so much that I did pick it up in the sand. Or is this oatmeal? Stone, it's called. Different kind of look, but like same thing. Maybe that's what I was going for, but I love them. I think they're just super nice. And this is a great winter piece because you can just chuck them on with like some high-waisted jeans, put a jacket over the top. And I think that's just like a nice look. Speaking of jeans, I feel like I've been trying to find a nice pair of jeans that just fit really well. I feel like once you've found the pair, you've found the pair, but it can sometimes take a while to find that pair. And I find that white fox jeans just fit really nicely and are really good quality too. So I picked up these, kind of like a bit oversized. And what I do really enjoy is they've got that like little kind of cut thing at the bottom. Not much to these, they're just kind of like plain denim jeans, I suppose. But in winter, whenever I go out really, I'm wearing jeans with some sort of top. And then last but not least, an oversized t-shirt, which I'm very excited about because I love this. Would you call it like an, an acid wash kind of black? It's called Now You See Me Tea in black acid. So it's pretty spot on. But it's just like a super relaxed t-shirt. I think these are great for like, if you're feeling a little bit a little bit bloated and you don't really want to wear just like a crop and shorts and a crop and something to the gym. I love throwing over like one of these or just like with bike shorts in general tucked into the bra and then with some jeans or something. I think it's a really nice look and I just, I don't know why I love this kind of wash, but I think it makes me feel cooler than I am. I think that's it. But yeah, that is everything that I picked up from White Fox. If you do like any of these pieces or just want to shop anything at White Fox, definitely make sure to use my code. It's just Sophie Jane, super easy. They also do have Express Worldwide shipping as well. And now I'm surrounded by this. Anyway, honestly, I've had a pretty, like it's been productive, but I'm equally like, what have I done? Kind of day. You know those days? You're currently balancing on honey. Um, but I need to get stuck into a lot more computer work. So I think I'm going to make myself a nice caramel iced coffee. That sounds very good right now. This is the coffee that I use every single day. Specifically, the caramel flavor is my absolute favorite. I was actually out of it for like, I want to say a month and it was a sad month. I recently ordered two boxes of it so I wouldn't run out as quickly. I also made one of these in my last video, which was the what I eat in a day. I think a lot of people thought I used hot water with it, but it actually dissolves in cold or, I mean, I'm assuming it does cold water, but I usually just do room temp. I mean, no, it is cold because I put ice in, then water, and then add it in. But it dissolves perfectly in like any kind of liquid. It doesn't have to be hot, which is great for iced coffees. I'll link these below as well if you want to check them out. So firstly, some ice. Fill it up with like three quarters of water. And then I, it depends if I've already had a coffee that morning or not, but I have already had a coffee this morning. So I usually do a half sachet. One, they last longer. And then I just feel like I'm not having as much caffeine. Mix that in. And then, this is the only oat milk I like. I feel like every other oat milk I've tried, it just doesn't live up to this. And I need more, which is very sad. Look how beautiful that is though. That sounds the best sound ever. It's so good. Okay, so I think it was yesterday I went grocery shopping and I found something that I thought it would be really fun for me and Sam to do a taste test of. He's just got home from work. He doesn't know what it is. Eyes are closed. And when your eyes are closed, I can see you for what you truly are. Ugly. <laughs> <laughs> do you know where that's from? TikTok. TikTok? I don't know. She's the man. Just by that, what do you think it is? I'm usually by... No, what? That's what it sounds like. Open. What? I do love a Krispy Kreme donut and I've been wanting to try them ever since I've seen other people online try them. I thought we could give it a taste test and see if it actually tastes. Because I know you love your TV snacks. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, there's no substitute for quality. <laughs> you ring <reading> that. <laughs> oh <laughs> my God. Does that not smell like a Krispy Kreme? It really does. They're quite big. For some reason, I thought they would be small. Like, are they? I'm kind of glad they are. Yeah. Oh. <coughs> Sorry, I just nailed it. It's like 
a biscuit and an original glaze. They smell like Krispy Kremes? Yes. They taste good, but they don't yes. taste like Krispy Kremes. I agree. It's oh, but it I has have, vibes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of like it's like a vanilla biscuit with like Which a Which is hint. what it is anyway. So it's like Yeah. They're good. For what it is, it tastes pretty good. Like mm. as in pretty close to what a Krispy Kreme would be. Similar it's got the flavour. The aftertaste? Yes, the aftertaste. The aftertaste that's the same as if you just ate a Krispy Kreme. Yes. I'd watch TV and eat those. Mm. I want to make like a, a vlog segment where we where we buy something new and then taste test it because I think that's quite fun. People can comment what they want us to taste test next. Yeah. Well, every week we taste test something new. Something that we can preferably get from Australia. Yeah, or send it to us. <laughs> send us stuff we want to try. The more I eat it, the more I'm like original glaze. It doesn't tell you that far off. What would you give it out of ten? Let's start rating. We rating it solid. 7.5 out of 10. Yeah. As a biscuit, I mean, what's the apex biscuit? Like Tim Tam? Absolutely. I think I'd give it a 7 out of 10. This juice is highly superior. Oh, that fridge stinks, man. Yeah, it does. I think there's some off salmon in this there. This is a one health star, right? I think you've got off salmon in there. Mm. I'm glowing. When your eyes are closed, I can see you for what you truly are. No, I can't say that. When your eyes are closed, I can see you for what you truly are. Which is ugly. That was pretty good. So good, just like the movie. You thought it was from TikTok. <laughs> when my eyes are closed, I see you for what you truly are, which is ugly. <laughs> We're I was on my walk, as you have seen, and Sam called me and he was like, I'm going to the shops, would you like to join me? And I was like, sure. So, we went to the shops, I am so hungry. We were that close to getting takeaway, but we decided so not to. stopped us. No, oh, you stopped us, thank you very much. With grocery haul, we are starting, so this is going to be the quickest grocery haul of my life. Bananas, wraps, because we're going to be making quesadillas for dinner. Croissants, almond magnums, because I have been craving an almond magnum for way too long, and I just had to. I'm sure this is an unpopular opinion, but I think almond magnums are the superior magnum. Let me know if you disagree. Spring onion, oat milk, frozen raspberries, tin tomatoes, avocados, onions, and two nextas because they're on sale. When you're so hungry that you feel kind of sick, yeah, that's what I've got right now. We're gonna make quesadillas. Ding, 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 ding. ding. Yeah, it kind of is, isn't it? Okay, well they were kind of a fail, but mine, mine kind of worked out. Um, Sam's... <laughs> yeah. These ones were. A plus for effort. I'm very excited, they smell amazing. And we've got a new episode of Loki. Mmm, good. Mmm, really good. Definitely, simply drifted in space. Thought about the universe and my place in it. Look at this king. In his day one. I know that something is good when you wear it because you wouldn't wear anything that's not comfy. Is 9.30 on the dot. There you go. Very tired. You take your makeup off and head to bed. Good night. Good night. There's my toast. Good morning. It is Friday now. I genuinely woke up thinking it was Saturday and I was like, weekend, yeah. And then I realized it was Friday. I swear though, not working a job that's kind of like a Monday to Friday makes me so out of whack and out of tune with what day it is. I don't really take a weekend. Sometimes I'll just have a few hours off on a Monday, but be working all Saturday, Sunday. I don't know. Just actually making some lunch. I did not know what I wanted, so I'm having avocado on toast with some eggs. This is the bread I've been having lately. It's called Genius. Genius gut loving. Perfect. We've also got no big plates out there on the dishwasher, so I'm having food, which is very excessive of me. I'm also wearing the comfiest outfit today. I've got that oversized tee that I showed you guys. And then the brown shorts, the brown lounge shorts, they're so comfortable. Oh, this is... Oh! <laughs> Whoops. But I feel like it'll still taste good. Oh, favorite combination. I mean, I've always loved it. I'm very much almost out of this. I've just been really loving it extra lately. Vegemite and avocado on toast. 
It's a match made in heaven. It's salty. I know my non-Australians might think that it's kind of gross. But don't knock until you try it. That's all I'm saying. I would just eat veggie mat on its own. <laughs> Not like eat it on its own, but like if a bit's on the knife, like I will be licking it off. And I don't want any judgment for that. But I've had a pretty productive morning so far. I'm just in a really good mood today. I'm in a very happy mood. I think what's just making me very happy is what's going to be happening over the next couple of weeks. See, well, I, you might. I feel like honestly for the past like few weeks, I've been really on and off. Last week I had a really low week. I was just feeling really just like down, low energy, but I'm feeling so much better this week. And I can't really tell you why. It is week after period week and that's always a good week. But I think I've just got a lot of things that I'm like looking forward to at the moment. Some scrambled eggs. I also, um, in my last video, which was the what I eat in a day, I did get a comment saying like, you were saying you're gonna be plant-based and then you've eaten like eggs and a bit of fish. And I just wanna clear up. I definitely am not trying to go completely plant-based. I think I'm just trying to incorporate a lot more plant-based eating into my day. I also love tomato sauce. <laughs> Bit of a fun fact about me. So I do add a little bit on top. Perfect. I'm very excited about this. I'm gonna bring my two plates over to the table. I'm also going through a complete friends obsession phase at the moment. And I always go through these phases. I watch the series and then I have a quick break while I watch something else and then I rewatch it again. <laughs> so I will be watching this while I eat my lunch. Look how good that looks. Mmm. Oh, so good. This is really good gluten-free bread. Currently on my afternoon walk, sporting my ultimate sucker mum vibes again. Since this puffer is sold out right now, I will link it below just in case. If you happen to be watching this video in a couple months' time or in a year's time, it'll most likely be back in stock. So I will link it below. I love it. And you just feel so cozy in it. Taking Odie on a walk, getting my sets in too, because other than Monday, I haven't been to the gym all week. And I'm just, I'm just not motivated. Hey, like I'm trying to motivate myself. But I just feel like I'm so much more motivated to do something like go for a walk, do a workout at home. So that's kind of just what I'm doing. It was such a gloomy day earlier. Now it's like gorgeous weather. The AirPods are also out of charge, so I'm using these. I forgot how annoying cords are. Sam even made fun of me and said, I hope you're having fun in 2014. <laughs> oh goodness. I'm at 3.95, so I'm almost at four. I don't want to be walking when it's dark, so I'm gonna try my best to get to five before it gets dark. Anyway, that's my update. Tonight's dinner is, I don't want to call it a poke bowl, but kind of just like a tuna nourish bowl, I want to say. Tuna rice bowl. Tuna rice bowl, yeah. We've got tuna, there's like a massive bed of rice underneath all of this. Tomato, cucumber, avocado, beetroot, spring onion, hummus, and salt and pepper. And I'm very excited. I feel like we always used to make stuff like this and we haven't for ages and it looks and smells delicious. When I went to Kmart and click, uh, clicked, <laughs> no, picked up that click and collect order, I wanted to do a DIY. Saturday now, I've been editing all day so far. I thought I'd have a bit of a break and do the DIY. So these are what I picked up. I'll put the TikTok I found here. Basically, I'm planning to just DIY them into bedside tables. It's so easy and I feel like so much cheaper than actually buying something like it. So I think I'm gonna take them outside. I feel like it's a pretty foolproof DIY. I've just figured out that you can actually use them for storage as well. That's awesome. Okay, so I need to take off the cushion. How am I going to do that? Do I cut it? That's what it looks like. Where do I cut it? I suppose I don't need to worry about ruining the cushion, right? Oh. How do I get it? Oh, this is actually kind of working. Incredible. I did it. Got my paint and some baking. Oh, this light some baking powder, piece of cardboard to mix it. I'm just gonna get this off. Why can't I get this? How are you supposed to get it? <sighs> Maybe a spoon? Go for a spoon. Okay, let's give this a go. <gasps> Why? Oh, <gasps> yes. Yes. 
pour some paint onto here. This is definitely not the best way I could be doing this, is it? Mix in, I don't know how much to do. This is kind of working. I'm just gonna start. No, uh -uh. definitely looks textured, which is good. That's what we want. Baking powder has definitely added that texture. Incredible. Yeah, I'm happy with that. An hour later, and I've done two coats. I think I'm quite happy with them. I feel like I'm not gonna be able to tell if I love them until they're like in the bedroom with stuff on them. I've done the tops. Kind of looks messy, but that's kind of the vibe I was going for. The thing is like heaps of bugs. See, get off. Heaps of bugs are landing on it, but I'm happy with them. I think I'm gonna let them dry overnight. I just hope it doesn't rain. I picture that done next to the bed with like some candles, some flowers. I think it's gonna look good. Also, I'm covered in paint. <laughs> So is my phone. I love projects like that. I feel like I never do that anymore. It just reminds me of like being in school and doing art projects. I just want them to be dry so I can put them in the bedroom. Very thirsty now though. I think I've had only like one glass of water all day. You know when water's just like the best thing ever? You it. Sam's enjoying the TV snacks that we bought the other day. I first like 10 of those just now. <laughs> These are the other ones we bought. Cookies and cream. I just, I thought they tasted good, but it's a chocolate biscuit. It's not like a cookies and cream donut. Yeah, I agree. These have definite Whoa. Krispy Kreme vibes. Look at my legs and my he hands. Stinks. He stinks. Mm. He needs a bath. He's so cute. I actually think we have the cutest dog in the world. He's up there for sure. <laughs> it is now 6 p.m., 5.58 to be exact. I'm in my pajamas. Mm. Kind of, I've got that white fox jumper on which I've literally lived in this week. Gymshark puffer. Oh. My bags. Becky. And we've come out to get Chinese. Saturday night. Let's go wild. Oh my goodness, let's get loose. Got the Chinese. I'm so excited. You know when you've just been craving something for days and then you just eat it and you're like, yes, this is what I've been waiting for. So I'm just running in to get some drinks. We were gonna pop into Woolworths to get some dessert, but it's 6 p.m. on a Saturday and Woolworths is closed. I just don't know why I didn't know that. Anyway. Oh no, he's walking back to the car looking very upset. <laughs> Bottle over shot. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> oh. We're closed. 6 p.m. on a Saturday. What's going yeah, everything's on? Everything's closed. Yeah, Woolies is closed at 6. I thought it was later on a Saturday. I thought it was at least 7 on a Saturday. Is there another bottle of open nearby? I don't know why, but the past, I'm going to say three or four days, I have been ravenously hungry. I'll have a meal and like half an hour later, I'll be hungry again. And it's been happening for the past three days and I'm honestly just over it because I, I'm eating enough and I'm eating, but I never feel full. Have I got worms or something? You could. Is that what happens when you have worms? Yeah. You always feel hungry? Yeah. yeah. What about if I do? I mean, it's not bad. You how just, can you tell? You just take worming tablets. It's not that bad. But how do I know? Well, you just take worming tablets and if the problem stops, then you've solved your issue. How do worms come? I don't know. Why don't you just get them as a kid? Do you get it from eating something? I, I have, honestly have no idea. Have you had a itchy rectum at all lately? <laughs> No. Okay, well that's another common symptom of what? I'm gonna look up, oh that's your phone. Really? It's common in kids and dogs, <laughs> but I suppose you could have it too. <laughs> I'm gonna look up symptoms. That's in children. It says bed wetting. No, I have not been wetting the bed. You mean wetting the bed? It also says reduced appetite, but that's in children. Adults. And I haven't been sleeping well. Like it's been taking me hours to get to sleep. Common symptoms of intestinal worms are abdominal pain, no. Nausea or vomiting, no. Gas bloating, no. Fatigue, no. Unexplained weight loss, no. Abdominal pain or tenderness, no. Well, I don't think I have worms. <laughs> I go. have none of the symptoms. I'm devastated about my beer. Yeah. 
Um, I'd settle for non-alcoholic beer even. So happy? Yeah, really good. Yeah, it is. I normally go for like... This is mine. Like a sweet and sour pork and things like that. It's super like greasy and heavy, mm. which is delicious. Tonight I went for like more like curries. Ooh. Not curries, but would they be stir fries? So. Stir fries, yeah, that's what I've gone for. Like the, the chicken chow mein and then like nasi green. Nasi green. Oh, and it's so like... Bless you. Delicious. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Oh, is that a spring roll? Mm. Can I have a bite? Mm -hmm. mm, they're good. <laughs> no, no bite. No, no, please. I'll put this down. <laughs> I don't know one. <laughs> Give me. Are you so mad? Yeah. I knew you had another one. No. Mmm. Mm. I don't know if it's spring rolls. The crunch. Mm. I've just finished setting up the bedside tables and I, I've honestly surprised myself. They worked out so much better than I thought they would. I'm drinking the energy tea from Naked Harvest. This one's definitely my favorite. It's very cold today, so it's very nice and warming. Also my hair, you can probably tell, it is so incredibly oily, but I'm holding off on washing it because I'm trying to retrain it to not get oily as quickly. I trained my hair back in the day to only really need a wash like every week or once a week, but recently just with events and I don't know, I just, I guess just washing my hair more often. It's now getting oily on like day three, sometimes even two. So I'm currently on day four. I think I'll try and wait an extra day. Hopefully I can just start pushing out like one day at a time to get it to the point where I only have to wash it once a week again. But the reveal of the bedside tables. Dun, 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 dun. We've also had friends on all day. I'm up to season five, episode 10. I think this is like the fifth or sixth time I've watched the series at this point. It's my comfort show. You know? Hello. Aww. And this is the finished result. I'm actually, I'm so happy with them. They're definitely like a little bit messy, but I don't really care. And I think it just looks really nice. That's Sam's side. And then this is my side. And I love it. <laughs> I think the fact that I've made them myself makes me love them even more. I feel like if I bought it, I'd be like, oh yeah, they're nice. But because I made them myself, I just feel I'm just even more happy with them, you know? Why are you looking at my hair? You are so cute. I hope you know that. You do know that, don't you? But I've been saying all week that I'm going to sit down and talk about what I mentioned at the beginning of the week of us moving. So as some of you all know, I'm not sure how many of you have been around since we lived in Brisbane. We moved up like North Queensland, I want to say, like the middle of Queensland, so up north around May last year. As you would know, we moved here for Sam's work. It was an amazing experience moving away from anything that I've ever known and away from all my friends or my family in a place that I'd never been to before. Um, but it's definitely been super tough as well. And especially for what I do, I'm not constantly out socializing and just out meeting new people. It has definitely been very lonely as well, but very exciting news. We're actually moving back to Brisbane. <laughs> and I can't, like I can't quite wrap my head around it because most of my friends, half of my family live there and I just feel like I've gotten so used to living so far away from all of my friends and family. It's going to be wild being so close to them again and I'm so excited. Like it's no longer just going to be me and Sam in all of the vlogs. <laughs> I don't know. I just, I'm so excited. When we found out, I cried. <laughs> we just didn't think it was going to be a possibility. Um, but basically things have fallen into place and allowed us to. So the past few weeks we've been looking at places and we've actually applied for one, really hoping that we find out either tomorrow or the next day if we've got it, but we're literally going to be moving in like two weeks, which is just crazy. And I can't quite wrap my head around it, but equally I'm so excited. So I've started packing. We're trying to do one box a day each just because we don't want to be like stressed at the end. We're just trying to take it slow. I've been doing a massive declutter. I literally got rid of 11 bin bags worth of clothes. <laughs> I took it all to like a drop off place the other day. So we're doing a massive declutter and yeah, just packing everything up, which is just crazy. And it's crazy to think that in literally two weeks, we won't live here anymore. Just mad, honestly, but we're so excited. We're really like, just to be close to friends and family again. I honestly, I have no words, but the next few weeks are going to be huge. It's a massive move. It's literally about six hours away. Our new place, hopefully, 
I'm really hoping my fingers across we get this new place is six hours from here. So it's gonna be a massive move, just cleaning everything up, organizing everything. Um, and moving's kind of stressful. <laughs> so yeah, that's our exciting news. But yeah, as I said, the next few weeks are gonna be crazy busy with moving. I'm definitely gonna film it all, bring you guys along with it because I personally love those kind of vlogs. I also just love filming them for the memories because even watching back my moving vlogs from when we moved from Brisbane to here, I love watching them back because it's just such an amazing way to like, I don't know, it's literally like a visual diary. Like I can see us moving here. That's kind of like full circle because now we're going back. And I'm so excited. Hello. I was just letting you know I was leaving. That's what I called. Okay. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I'm getting Guzman for you and um, burgers for me. You're getting burgers? Yeah. Do you want one or Guzman? Mm, no, I'm feeling Guzman. Oh, I'll get that for you. Okay. You got my text cool. of my order? Yeah, got it. Okay, yep. cool. Do you want to tell them how excited you are to move? Um, like 10 out of 10. Well, I'll see you soon. Love you, bye. Bye. Anyway, it's Sunday afternoon. I'm going to end the vlog here just so I can have a really chill night and then start next week's weekly vlog off fresh tomorrow morning. I love you all. I appreciate you all so much. I'm so excited to just sound so incredibly cheesy, <laughs> but just start this new chapter and bring you all along. And I feel like a lot of things are just going to fall into place when we move and signing up for a new gym, being in a new area, being in a new place. Even for the podcast, Riley and I are now going to be able to record together like actually in person, which we've never been able to do before. There's some really exciting things happening with that as well. So yeah, but yeah, I'm just feeling really excited, but I'm gonna stop babbling. Really hope you guys have enjoyed this weekly vlog and I'll see you next week.